Samsung wants in on the rapidly expanding humanoid robotics market. The tech giant just upped its stake in leading South Korean robotics firm Rainbow Robotics, investing $181 million to accelerate humanoid robot development. Rainbow was founded by the same researchers who developed Korea's first humanoid robot. What does the investment mean for South Korea, which already has the highest robot density in the world? And can Samsung compete with the likes of Tesla, OpenAI, Google, NVIDIA, and fellow Korean juggernaut Hyundai as they invest heavily into humanoid robotics? Let's take a look. Samsung Electronics just became Rainbow Robotics' largest stakeholder by increasing its stake from just under 15 to 35 percent. As part of the investment, Samsung has established a future robotics office reporting directly to the office of CEO Lee Jae Young. Dr. Jun Ho Oh, a founding member of Rainbow Robotics and honorary case professor, is leading the new division. The Rainbow team has been at the forefront of humanoid robotics for 20 years. Its founders gained global recognition in 2005 when it introduced Hubo as South Korea's answer to Honda's ASIMO. In the near future, you and I are going to be very good friends. Want to talk about it? He is a humanoid robot. Humanoid robot means he looks like human, he moves like human. So he looks simple, it highs about 120 centimeters, it weighs under 60 kilograms, but in it, there are so many sophisticated things. He can hear and he can speak, even he can understand some verbal comment. They gained even more exposure with Albert Hubo, an upgraded version of the humanoid designed to resemble Albert Einstein. So he can do some many gestures with his fingers. Right. For example, he can do some sign language for the hear hearing aid pro the persons. Right. Yeah, I'll show you how. Let, let me ask him to show the yeah, sign language. Uh, this is uh, saying that, um, nice to meet you. Uh, see you someday. Yeah. The researchers launched Rainbow Robotics in 2011 to commercialize the second iteration of Hubo selling the advanced robot to MIT, Google, the U.S. Naval Research Laboratory, and others. Hubo's success led to more advanced versions, including a variant that won the 2015 DARPA Robotics Challenge Finals. Now, that victory has proven that Korea is rapidly emerging as a top robotics nation. Global media has since been focusing on Korea's technology in this sector, some saying it's reminiscent of how Korean car makers rapidly caught up with their Japanese counterparts in recent decades as both nations sought to topple America's big three. The robot participated in the torch relay ahead of the 2018 Winter Olympic Games alongside Rainbow's FX2 rideable and user-operated biped robot. In 2019, Rainbow launched its RB series of collaborative robots for industrial applications. The company also offers serving robots, dual-arm mobile manipulators for precision tasks, and a quadrupedal robot that can traverse rough terrains. Rainbow also sells astronomical mounts for stabilizing and positioning telescopes for accurate tracking of celestial objects. Just imagine, you're smarter, future home where one machine does the washing and drying, connecting to a fridge that shows what you have and suggests recipes. With Samsung's backing, Rainbow Robotics gains access to Samsung's expertise in artificial intelligence and software. Samsung's extensive global sales infrastructure helps Rainbow actively enter and expand in overseas markets. Headquartered in Suen, Samsung has been interested in robotics for decades. In 2006, the Samsung SGRA-1, a sentry guard robot for surveillance and security, was deployed in the Korean Demilitarization Zone, a heavily fortified area separating North and South Korea. It's considered the first system of its kind with its ability to combine surveillance, tracking, firing, and voice recognition. The autonomous sentry gun was developed by Samsung Techwin, which was later acquired by Hanwha Aerospace in collaboration with Korea University. More recently, Samsung has unveiled Bali, an AI-powered home robot for daily use. Unveiled at CES 2020, Bali was showcased again at the 2024 conference with updates including an onboard projector and advanced AI. 
the home robot has not yet been released to the consumer market. Samsung has developed its own AI models to enhance the capabilities of its connected devices and services. In November 2024, the company introduced the second version of its Gauss Multimodal Generative AI model. It's designed to process various data types, including code, images, and languages. Samsung has also integrated AI features across its Galaxy devices under the umbrella of Galaxy AI. Additionally, Samsung subsidiary Samsung SDS has developed AI-based platforms like BrightX AI, which delivers analytical, visual, and conversational AI services. Samsung's investment in Rainbow Robotics effectively positions it as the second major player in South Korean humanoid robotics. Hyundai Motor Group acquired a controlling stake in Boston Dynamics, the maker of the world-famous humanoid robot Atlas, in December 2020. The deal, valued at more than a billion dollars, transferred an 80% ownership stake to Hyundai, with the remaining 20% retained by the seller, SoftBank. At the time, Hyundai said the move was to advance its vision of creating a smart mobility ecosystem. Boston Dynamics recently announced a partnership with Toyota Research Institute to supercharge the development of Atlas. With the partnership, the Research Institute gains access to Atlas to test its advanced AI models. Their focus is enhancing the robot's ability to multitask and perform complex manipulations. In return, the Massachusetts-based robotics leader can integrate Toyota's large behavior models to improve Atlas's dexterity and decision-making. Google, which owned Boston Dynamics from 2013 to 2017, is also teaming up with a leading robotics company to accelerate humanoid advancements. Google DeepMind recently announced the partnership with Aptronic, whose humanoid robot Apollo is known for working at Mercedes-Benz factories. The move is potentially transformative, combining Aptronic's decade of robotic research with Google's powerful AI. Integrating Google's advanced AI with Apollo could significantly accelerate the humanoid's development. Samsung is also competing with OpenAI, which has invested heavily into Figure AI, whose Figure 2 autonomous robots have been deployed at the BMW plant in Spartanburg, South Carolina. OpenAI is also a leading investor of 1X Technologies, a Norway-based company that aims to mass-produce its neo-humanoid in the next few years. Samsung's new investment also intensifies its rivalry with NVIDIA. Combining Rainbow's advanced robotics with its advanced AI and hardware puts Samsung in direct competition with NVIDIA's Jetson platform, which are widely used to power humanoid robots and autonomous systems. While NVIDIA may remain a key supplier of AI computing platforms, Samsung's strategy to integrate robotics into its ecosystem could give it a unique edge. So what does Samsung and Rainbow have in store for us? Will they reboot Hubo or introduce a brand new humanoid robot? Make sure to subscribe to stay up to date.